بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Cyclic codes Cyclic codes are linear codes but they are special linear codes What did we say again are linear codes If you take one valid code word and you XOR it with another valid code word you get a third valid code word out of it in a cyclic code let's say this is a valid code word okay this is a valid code word now if you were to treat it like they are linked in a circle okay and if you were to shift this one to this side so you're getting it becomes zero one one zero 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 and then shifting the one here it becomes a one okay so this is also a valid code word this is what it means cyclic codes are used to correct errors and let's look at this one in this case you have a crc code with c74 which means n is 7 and k is 4 so we've added three redundant bits to it take any code okay shifted one to the left you will get 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 do we have it somewhere 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 where is that yes we do should be 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 yeah I actually got this wrong so it should be 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 because we've taken the 0 and put it to the other side so do we have one here yes we do there you go shift it again 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 shift it again and so on and you will keep getting another code word which is a valid code word okay so this is you can even XOR them and you'll get a valid code word but if you also do the cyclic if you shift them you will still get a valid code word okay so these are special codes called cyclic redundancy check codes now these codes are actually used for us to detect errors on the other side how do we work on this we have a data word okay and we have decided beforehand that we're going to add three redundant bits to it so you take the data word inside and you add the three zero redundant bits now the whole thing that you have okay the seven bits that you get you divide it with a divisor this divisor is common it is known to both the sender and the receiver when you divide when you, you, you divide this code word with the divisor and then the reminder that you get so you add the data word okay you take the data word as it is and then the reminder from this division you add it and then you generate the final code word and this final code word is sent to the other side on the other side you take the whole code word that you receive and you divide it once again with the same divisor okay if the reminder in this case is zero the syndrome is zero there is no error but if the syndrome is not zero there is an error and the code word is discarded now let's actually see how this is done using an example okay in this case the data word is one zero zero one let's do it okay let's do the division so what is the data word 
one zero zero one. So we have one zero zero one. And what is the divisor? One zero one one. One zero one one. And how many bits have we are we supposed to add? Three redundant bits. Zero zero zero. All right. Now we're going to start doing the division. In division, you take these first four bits first. If it begins with a one, you put a one there and you take these four bits down like this. And you do the XOR. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, zero. And then you will take the next bit down. Look at it again. It's beginning with a zero. So you're going to put a zero there and you will put all zeros and you do the XOR again. Zero, 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 one. Take down the next zero bit. Okay. It's beginning with a one. So you're going to put a 1 there and take this divisor down again. Take the 0 bit down again. In this case, beginning with a 0, so you're going to put a 0 there and all zeros. So this is your reminder. Okay, this is your reminder. So, what do we do in the end? What was our data word, original data word? Our original data word was 1001. Now, to this, you're going to append this reminder, 110. And then this whole thing, you send it to the receiver. Okay, the whole thing is sent to the receiver. So, there you go. 1001. 110 just as we got it all right and the whole thing is sent over to the receiver now at the receiver what do we do at the receiver we're going to take this number 1001 110 and divide it again with the same divisor let's do it So what was the number again? 1001110. And we are using the divisor, which is the same number, 1011. Once again, look at the first four bits. You st it starts with a 1, so you're going to put there 1011 and a 1 there. 0, 1, 0. You don't consider the last one, okay? You leave that. You only consider the, 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 the three bits from the right-hand side. And then we're taking down a 1. It begins with a 0, so you put a 0 there, and you take down 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. Take down the next one. You have a one, so you're going to have one, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, and then you're bringing down the last zero. I'm just trying to see if I've done something. Yeah, I've actually gone wrong in here, you see? We started with a zero, so I should have taken a zero here. Sorry, let's just do this again, okay? Let's just do this again. 
So we're having 1001110, dividing it by 1011, okay? So you're taking the first four bits, starting with the 1, put a 1, 1011. Zero, one, one. Zero, one, zero. Take down the 1. It's starting with a 0. You put a 0 and you take all zeros here. 1010. Zero, one, zero, one. Bring down the next 1. Put a 1 and you take down this. You're going to get all zeros. So even if you take down the 0, it's still 0. So the reminder here is 0. The syndrome is 0, which means there is no error. Whereas in this case, we are seeing the second example. They're showing where it's been corrupted. So instead of 1001, we received 1000. When you do the division again, you can do this by yourself you will see a non-zero syndrome. In this case, we know there is an error and the data word is discarded. The next concept is polynomials. Polynomials are very easy. It's a very easy thing. You have here the binary word, right? You're simply going to represent this as a polynomial. So this one will be 1x to the power 0, 1x to the power 1, 0x to the x square, 0x cube, 0x to the power 4, 5, and 1x to the power 6. So you can actually represent this whole binary word as a polynomial. So this is actually so this is going to be So this actually is x to the power 6 plus x plus 1. Okay, so this is a polynomial. That's all you have to remember about polynomials. And you have different types of polynomials that are used for in different networks. The most popular being CRC32, which is used in LANs. Our next video will be on checksum.